Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Um, the hadith that I want to share with you, this hadith will blow your mind away. If there is one thing right now that can surprise you, shock you from our religion, from Islam, then this is the hadith that I want to I want you to think about. But before we talk about the hadith. I want you to consider subscribing if you're new to this channel because we do talk a lot about what is happening right now in the world. So again, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Before I, before I read you the hadith, I want you to understand the situation. As uh, many of you have seen on the news, it says that, well, 2020 keeps getting better all the time, uh, in a sarcastic way. Amid a pandemic, civil unrest, and a divisive US election season, we now have an asteroid zooming towards us. The asteroid is zooming towards us. On the day before the presidential vote, no less. So I'm reading the, the, the news. This is something you know. Yep, the celestial object known as 2018VP1 is projected to come close to Earth on November 2nd. According to the Center for Near Earth Objects Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Now, before I mention you that this, very, very important for you to understand. What we're seeing right now is that, uh, now let's talk about a little bit about the, the, the dimension of this asteroid. Its diameter is 0.002 kilometer or about 6.5 feet according to NASA's data. It was first identified at Palomar Observatory in California in 2018. Okay, so this is the situation. This asteroid, which is not too big, a small size, is going to hit the Earth. Most likely it will not, but there is a possibility, 0.041% possibility, that it will actually come in direct contact with Earth. Okay, and that will happen on uh, November 2nd, uh, just before the U.S. election. I do not know why it's a big deal, U.S. election, uh, for, uh, you know, uh, taking precaution or talking about uh, this um, asteroid. I do not know why U.S. election is so important. They always bring a U.S. election with this event. You know, we should be uh, worried about other things. They talk about U.S. election. I don't know why. But again, so the point here is that this asteroid, this meteor, it will come in close contact if not make a direct hit. Rasulullah Sam he said, now this hadith is very very important. A lot of us we talk about Kiyama and we say, oh brother don't take it seriously, you know what, a Kiyama is not going to happen. You know, just chill. What, 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 I mean a lot of people are even making fun of this, uh, of this asteroid. They're saying what's the big deal, they're actually making laugh, I know, they're joking. This is, this is very, very very important for you to understand, very very important. Even though you're joking, even though you might think this is not a big deal that a asteroid will come and hit the earth, but listen to this hadith. It is going to be a sign of the day of judgment. I'm not joking. I'm going to tell you exactly all the details. This kind of event. And we pray to Allah Azza that this asteroid will not hit us. But this kind of events, these are a sign for the believers to get ready for the Qiyamah. You know why? In Sahih At-Tirmidhi, Rasulullah Sallallahu he said, Satakhruj min hadramaut. Okay. Qabla yawm al-Qiyamati tahshuruhun nas. Tahshuruhun nas. A fire will come from a hadramaut before the day of judgment and it will gather all people tahshuruhun nas in one place. Dear brothers and sisters, that fire is a major sign before the Qiyamah. That Allah, Allah will gather the people in one place. And this is a Sahih Hadith from Tirmidhi. Okay. Now, brother, why are you talking about an asteroid and why are you talking about this fire, you know, Qiyamah? Let me explain to you a little bit more. Now, meteor, when they come, when they travel towards Earth, the air in front of the meteor it gets compressed 
As a result, when the air gets compressed, it heats up very, very quickly because the meteor, it has gas that comes with it, okay? As a result, because of the gas, it, it gets compressed. When a gas gets compressed, it means that it heats up very quickly. As a result, it catches fire and the air continues to burn that meteor until it will get dissolved you know it will break away the parts will break away this is why you see when a meteor comes sometimes you see just part of it right not the whole thing and that is because the air it continues to burn and that happened because of the compressed gas now Rasulullah he said what a fire will come and I, subhanAllah, I mentioned this hadith in my other videos. If you, I think it, it was a different channel. I mentioned this hadith in, in other video. I said, I showed you guys how a meteor that hit Russia, uh, somewhere in Russia, was a sign of the Day of Judgment of the Qiyamah. And today we are also experiencing, or we will be experiencing on November 2nd, similar thing. Maybe it will not be as bad as it was when it hit Russia. But subhanAllah, take a look at the hadith. Rasulullah said that a fire will come and it will gather people together before the day of judgment. Does it not give you the image? Does it not give does it not paint you the picture of Qiyamah? Does it not? Do you think the Prophet just came out with something, you know, from his own mind? Do you think so? No. It is a revelation from Allah. Allah Azawajal will send this kind of fire from the sky this fire when people will see this fire you know it, it might be coming from Hadramud it might fall that in that place but whatever it is whatever it is the just think about it you know this is a very real thing that a fire will you know put all people together this fire will bring everybody together and then when we are gathered together because of the fire that's it, that's going to be a major major sign of the day of judgment and the source he said kabla yawm al qiyamah that will happen before the before the qiyamah so a lot of you have doubts whether these are signs anything has to do with you know the qiyamah or the end of time the day of judgment a lot of you have doubts what is what it has to do with the coming of the mahdi or the jal I want you to understand these things are not isolated incidents. These are things that if you can, if you are able to connect the dots and you can only do so by reading hadith, by believing in hadith and also believing the Quran. When you read these books, then you will be able to connect the dots and it is not going to be hard, dear brothers and sisters, for us to understand how far are we from Qiyamah. There are many signs that this uh, hadith they they talk about the the Quran warns us many many signs if you can connect the dots if you just observe don't think a asteroid or meteor you know something will come on earth and this is just a scientific uh, you know scientific phenomenon and, and we have nothing to do with it Allah has nothing to do with it if you think that way then you'll be a loser you'll not be able to understand what is the implication of these things happening in front of rise because Allah is giving us signs warning signs that the Qiyamah is indeed coming that the prophecy that he said a, a fire will be coming from Hadramot before the day of judgment these fires are not any more imaginary fire these are real fire I, I mentioned to you about the meteor it could be because of the meteor that will hit Hadramoth and from Hadramoth a fire will come. It could be anything else. It doesn't have to be necessarily a meteor. But the meteor gives us this kind of you know, asteroid attack on Earth gives us a solid understanding what it means a fire will come from that place. How that even even possible. It makes things possible. It, may, it puts things into perspective for the believers so that when it happens or before it happens or if we are alive that time then we are inshallah firm on our belief that we are not lost that we are not asking question oh how come the world is falling apart because we know the hadith because we have educated ourselves and we know that in that moment we have to have our trust in Allah that he will inshallah 
rescue us from any kind of difficulties. So this had this and the, the meteor, you know, the asteroid, uh, whatever it is happening, going to be happening. Uh, it is not something we should not gain understanding from and be aware where we are so that inshallah we are prepared. It is not something we should be taking it lightly. Make dua for the whole world. People are going astray, you know, signs of the Kiyama, all of them are here, minor signs, the scholars mentioned the minor signs are here. We're waiting for the major sign, for example, the coming of the Mahdi, we talk about this in to this topic in, in this channel a lot. The coming of the Jal, Yajus and Majus, these things will happen, but we need to be prepared. Jazakallah for tuning in. Again, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, like this video, share this video, and I'll see you soon again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.